going on YouTube? I've decided I'm going to go ahead and create a full set of beginner tutorials for Touch Portal. I'm very excited. This is going to be the first video in the set of beginner tutorials. If you do end up liking this video and you learn something from this video, make sure you do subscribe to my channel in order to stay in touch with the rest of the tutorials. For those of you that don't know, Touch Portal is a remote desktop tool. It allows you to create macros that control your computer. It's very much like the Stream Deck except for in Touch Portal, you have remote access to multiple applications on your computer and you have access to outside plugins that are developed for the application. But in order for Touch Portal to work, you have to have the application on a desktop and then you also need the application that the desktop connects to on a tablet or phone. Touch Portal works with either Android or iOS devices, so if you have an old tablet laying around, feel free to download Touch Portal for free on that tablet and start using it today. In the description below, I'm going to link up as many cheap tablets as I can find on Amazon. So if you're looking for a tablet to use specifically with Touch Portal, feel free to search for those using the links in the description below. With that being said, we're gonna jump into the setup of Touch Portal and setting up our first and second page. After watching the video, if you have any other questions, feel free to hop in my Discord server. What you'll need to do is scroll down to the support channels down here and ask your question within the Touch Portal help section. If you guys are familiar with Touch Portal and you're wanting to join a helpful community, feel free to hop in my Discord server as well and just, you know, help people around the applications that we talk about on this channel. In order to download Touch Portal, you need to go to Touch Portal's website. You can use the link in the description below or you can go to touch-portal.com and then just click this download button. It will navigate you to the section where you have Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iOS. Obviously, you want to download Touch Portal on the operating software that you use. So whether you use Windows or Mac OS, make sure you download that. And then also on the device that you're going to use, whether it be an iPad or an Android tablet, you'll need to make sure you go to the App Store or the Play Store and grab Touch Portal on your device as well. When you open up Touch Portal for the first time, it looks something like this. It brings you to the main page or your main page example on Touch Portal. It gives you a display example of what it will look like on your device. We're going to cover a few things on this main page first before we dive into the setup of Touch Portal. If you take a look on the right, we have our page settings. You can actually change the grid that is on your actual device right here from this application on your desktop. For instance, if I wanted to increase increase the grid from 5x3 over to 7x3, it would put 7 buttons across the tablet. If we were to toggle the maximize button size, it would actually stretch those buttons across the tablet to fill the entirety of the screen. If we were to toggle group buttons, it would actually group all of the buttons into the middle of the tablet. You can also adjust the background settings. You can select a specific color if you would like, or you can import an image into this device here that can be used as a device background. Keep in mind, you'll want to have the aspect ratio of your device. If you don't know what the aspect ratio of your device is, I would search it on Google. The first thing I want you guys to do is go to the settings cogwheel up here and on the general settings tab, which we'll notice are the general settings here. There are two ways of connecting your device to Touch Portal. One is over a Wi-Fi network, which actually seems to be the best of the two options. And the other one is a USB connection. The Wi-Fi is actually a better connection. Don't let the USB connection fool you. In each one of these ports, you have a set of numbers. On port one, you have one, two, one, three, four. This should be the default number set for Touch Portal. When you download and install the application on your device, it should open up with a defaulted port of 12134, so it will automatically connect to your desktop if it's on the same Wi-Fi. If you do have connection issues, this is where you will need to change those settings. The next thing we need to look at are the settings down here. I want you to go ahead and toggle the start at Windows boot and start at boot minimized. This will make sure the application is actually minimized and it doesn't pop up in front of you every time you open your PC. And last but not least, we also want to make sure that always create go to main buttons for new pages is toggled as well. This will create a button automatically for you that will navigate to the main page. It, it just makes it easier when you're creating pages to have this function built in for you. We're gonna go ahead and hit save on that. 
Now we're actually ready to create our first button. I'm going to simply show you how to open an application using your touch portal application in this video. And in future videos, we'll dive deeper into more actions and more functions that are built into touch portal. If you hover over the top left button that's on your screen and left click it, it will open the button settings. I'm not going to talk too much about what's on this page here in this video. In my next video, I will be covering the button page. So we'll talk more about that there. What you will notice is that we're on the on press tab. Everything that we put in this tab is going to activate when we press the button. What we're going to do is go up to this run and open action menu on the left. And the action we're going to create is start application. Now we have successfully created an action in this button. The next thing we need to do is click on the three dots here. When you click those three dots for the first time, it will actually take you to the Windows shortcuts. It won't take you to an OBS studio page. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to click on the OBS application and I'm going to open that file. Now when I press this button on my device it will open up OBS on my computer the next thing we need to do is go ahead and change the button text so that we know that this is a button if you want to you can actually change it from transparent to a color and then select the color here or you can select an icon for this button using the pre-built icon sets or importing icons yourself. We're going to go ahead and save this button. Now, if you hit refresh on your tablet or phone, you will notice the OBS button pops up. If you press that button, it will run the OBS application. Go ahead and test the button you created for the application that you set in this button. Now that you understand how to create a basic button within Touch Portal, we're ready to create our new page. So all we need to do is hit the new button over here on the right, and we're going to give this page a title. For the sake of this video, I'm going to just label it second page. What you'll notice is that it automatically created the go to main page button here on the device. This will allow us easy navigation back to the page that we previously were on. What you'll notice is if you take a look at your device, there's no way to get to this page that you just created. That's because we haven't created a button to navigate to this page. So in the drop down menu up here, we're going to navigate our way back to the main page. And what I suggest is placing this button on the bottom bottom right. So go ahead and left click that. What we're going to do on the on press tab is create a go to page action. All we need to do is select the page here, which is going to be our second page and go ahead and give that button a name as well and save that button. Now, if you refresh your device once more, you'll have a second page navigation button. Go ahead and test and verify that button works. If you are having issues getting that button to work, feel free to hop in my Discord server and someone will be there to help you. That completes the first tutorial in the beginner guides of Touch Portal. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, if you do have any additional questions after watching this video, feel free to hop in my Discord server. The link is in the description below. If you did like this video, do me a solid hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on future guides just like this. My name is Francois. This is my studio and I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.